Spencer from the upcoming So Lovely to Chat to You. How does it feel to be on this red carpet here tonight? It's amazing. We've had such a weird year of like COVID lockdowns and everything else. So just to be in amongst your sort of like British independent film cohort is uh, it's a lovely feeling. And what would it mean to you to be recognised one of these awards tonight? What would, it, sorry, could you repeat it? what would it mean to you to take one of these awards home tonight? Wow, you know, you don't even like sort of think about it. Right now, I'm just sort of overwhelmed with being in amongst everyone at the moment, but to take an award home, wow, I can't, I can't even really articulate it. It'll be amazing, uh, yeah, I would, I would lo I'd love that, absolutely love that, but I'm just here to enjoy the evening, enjoy being in the company of people who love independent film. That's my tagline, that's... Uh, and tell us a bit about the film and your character. What appealed to you being in Ali and Ava? So I was um, approached, well, I, I had a meeting with Clio over at Toronto Film Festival years and years ago. And we had this really natural, easy conversation about work and film and all the things that we love. And through that, through our conversations and her taking actual audio footage from characters in, in Bradford, she cobbled together this script and um, was the question how I got involved in it or how was it? What appealed to you about it? Right, I'll get to that, sorry, I just, I got lost in my own head. Um, and that is what appealed to me, I think. The idea that it was such an easygoing process and Clio was such an, I've just been such a big fan of all her work and that she's the best listener in the world, you know? You could sort of speak to her and she would just stand there and just be, so receptive to everything you're saying and it was just it's a joy to work on this film from like start to finish amazing well enjoy the evening best of luck love to chat to you thank you